He's What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this uh, chilly and cloudy Tuesday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, I know you guys remember, I guess it was back in 2018, when this particular situation right here took place with this Bashir trip uh, chick and her uh, then husband, James Johnson Jr., okay? I guess this is a picture of them in some of the, you know, better times, okay? Who says that domestic violence, you know, doesn't exist when it comes down to a woman doing it to a man? Oh, yeah, it exists just as much as it does when a man does it to a woman. It's just that it goes unreported, you know what I mean? Um, as opposed to how it exists when it's reported versus a man doing it to a woman that's all it boils down to because oftentimes when a, a man would report a situation like domestic violence where he's got this uh, overbearing woman who's trying to usurp authority over him which you're not a woman's not supposed to do that you know what I mean if he goes to report these kind of things oftentimes it's laughed at even by authorities themselves okay that's just what it is, you know. But when, if for any man that finds himself in a situation when a woman is uh, overbearing and uh, trying to assort, assert the authority over him and domineering and all that kind of shit, and he wants away from her, uh, my advice be to you, and you didn't already, you know, did everything that you're supposed to do as a man to try to get away from this woman, even went to authorities, and she's continually, you know, with this uh, attitude that she has, treat her like the man that she's trying to be over you, if you understand what I'm saying, treat her as like the man that she's trying to be over you. I was going through some of these pictures of this woman right here and I was looking at her, you know, and they were out on some outings and it was one of the ones I came across right here. And I'm telling you, I don't look, I don't even like the look that this woman has in her eyes. You know, she looks like one of them type of women that will wind up doing the kind of thing that you, we just seen her do to this man. Okay. That's what's, that's just what it is as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you can hear her saying to him after she cowardly ran this man over and incapacitated him, you know, and uh, even dropped, you know, the plastic bumper on him and all that all kind of stuff. Fuck him. Fuck you. Uh, this is what you get for leaving and all that kind of shit. I'm, I can imagine what he was going through is the reason why he probably left your raggedy ass in the first place. It's just too bad that he let his guard down, you know. It's too bad as far as I'm concerned. But needless to say more about this, it has been concluded, you know, this whole entire case at Bashir Trip, which is a Port's Mouth woman, gets 18 years after hitting husband with vehicle in Norfolk. Okay. Bashir Trip, 35, pleaded guilty to the aggravated malicious wounding 
of James Johnson Jr. at the Janaf Shopping Center, okay? It was more than wounding, okay? Matter of fact, this man wind up dying of his injuries. And as we go through the story, uh, story go through the story, you guys are going to see that, okay? Now it says here, Norfolk uh, VA, um, a Portsmouth woman was sentenced to 18 years in prison Friday after hitting her husband with a vehicle in 2020. Okay, so it was 2020. I thought it was 2018 for some reason, but it goes on to say his injuries left him in a coma and resulted in his death over a year later. In September 2021, Bashir Tripp, 35, pleaded guilty to aggravated malicious wounding of James Johnson Jr. According to the Norfolk Commonwealth's attorney office, Tripp was at the Genève Shopping Center in Norfolk with Johnson, then 34, well, 34 years old, and with whom she shares two children on uh, August 6, 2020. All right. See, this is the reason why I think the charges should be upped. You know what I'm saying? She needs to go back to court and the charges should be up. up. She should at least get life for what she did to this man. Okay? Life. 18 years. You know, she might be out on good behavior within six. Who knows? You know, maybe 12. Six to 12 years, she could probably be out, you know, uh, on the streets and everything, you know? But life is going downhill for her, even if she were to get out, you know? But to continue... After the two got into an argument, Tripp left Johnson behind a Genève driveway, uh, but returning minutes later. As Johnson was talking on the phone, he stepped from the sidewalk onto the road, not seeing Tripp. That's when Tripp sped up and hit Johnson with the vehicle. The impact threw him into the air and caused his head to hit the ground. He broke his skull and sustained a severe brain image injury. Uh, Trip hit two other vehicles, stopped and got out of the car, or her car. Um, as Johnson lay on the ground unconscious, Trip took the bumper that had broken off her car and beat him with it while she was yelling and screaming. Norfolk Police Department arrested Trip, who admitted to hitting her husband in a fit of rage. Okay? Fit of rage. See? This is what I'm talking about. 18 years just ain't enough far as I'm concerned. It's really not. Because that was all uncalled for. You understand what I'm saying? From what I can understand, you know, assess from the situation, um, this guy wanted away from this woman. You know, and it's too bad he got mixed up with her in the first place to even get two children. That's why men and women alike need to take it, you know, be very careful who you come together with to make a baby. That's basically what it boils down to, but I digress. The Norfolk Commonwealth Attorney's Office said Johnson spent the rest of his life in a coma going through several surgeries and living on a feeding tube. He died of his injuries on October 2021. Norfolk uh, Circuit Court Judge uh, Gerald C. Jones sentenced Tripp to six, well, 18 years in prison, suspending another 12 in prison on the conditions of uniform good behavior and completion of five years supervised probation. Y'all hear that? You see what I'm saying? Suspending another 12 years. So what is that? She's what? She what was she's gonna get? Only six years or something like that? You know, or was this 12 years con included? Was it supposed to be something like, I don't know, what, 30 years? Yeah. 30 years or something, and that was suspended? I don't know, but it goes on to say here, Bashir Tripp killed James Johnson on August 6, 2020. Even if it took him another 15 months to die, Commonwealth's attorney, uh, Ramin Fatia, uh, Fatia, I guess, uh, said in a news release, Mr. Johnson should be alive today, but because of Ms. Tripp's cruel and unnecessary crime, he is gone. I hope that today's sentence brings peace to Mr. Johnson's loved ones. Uh, whether the weapon is a gun, a knife, or a car, we will do all we can 
we can to hold accountable the people who kill our fellow citizens. Right? Yeah, that's the reason why she should get more time, as far as I'm concerned. Matter of fact, give her ass a fucking death penalty. This was all uncalled for. This woman did not have to do this to this man. You know, she dropped him off. He was under the, you know, the in, you know impression that they were going their separate ways. And then she going to come back around, speed back around. And, and why he's not watching, hit him with the car. That was some cowardly ass shit. That was some cowardly ass shit. It wasn't no excuse in it. And see, too, I'm going to tell you. The so-called powers that be, that's, you know, in the, over the judicial system, they like cases like this when a black woman kill a black man. They like it, you know? And then you got some of these low-key ass feminists, black low-key feminists that's on YouTube, you know, come off real, uh, how can I say, meek-like. They like situations like this too, you know? But they don't like these when it's on the other foot. That the shoes on the other foot. They don't like it. Then when some for whatever reason a black man kill a black woman, well he needs to be judged for this. The Lord judged him if for some reason the man get killed or whatever, you know. But a situation like this, they want to play down as though, well maybe she just was in a uh, she just was in a bad moment in that you know a uh, bad whatever. I don't know. They make up all kinds of shit. But it's messed up on both behalves. It's messed up on both the ass, and that's just all there is to it. You know, like I said, for any man out there, and I'm talking to the men specifically, if you find yourself in a situation with a domineering woman that you've tried to do all you can do to get out of get out of it, and uh, law enforcement's not doing any damn thing about it, hey. Do what you got to do to save your life. Treat this woman like the man that she's trying to be over you. If you understand what I'm saying. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.